This is the story of a magical grotto that's hiding next to a Pittsburgh truck route. I'm Boaz, and these are Pittsburgh Stories. I started exploring Banksville by climbing the stairs through the hilly neighborhood before arriving at Banksville Road, which can feel more like a highway than a road. Tucked between the steep hillside and the road, behind some bushes, I discovered a stream. So I followed it, carefully walking along the narrow shoulder of Banksville Road, and when I peeked through all the brush, I could see that the stream was forming these small waterfalls and magical-looking grottos. But then, the shoulder ended. In fact, there was no way for a pedestrian to get down this stretch of Banksville Road, so I hopped on a bus and rode until there was a sidewalk again. I wanted to find out how this stream got here, so I reached out to the first people I could think of who know about water in Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority. A few days later, I returned to the stream with Ana Flores, an engineer focusing on stormwater management. She brought along Lisa Warder Brown, the executive director of Watersheds of South Pittsburgh. We're standing next to Little Sawmill Run, which is a tributary. And what does run mean? I guess I'd never run heard that means before. stream. When the Scottish immigrants came over, their term for stream is run. They call them runs. This area looked pretty different 120 years ago. There were wide expanses of meadows and forested hillsides. And then a lot more people started moving to the area. Back 100 years ago, when the development first started, the stream acted as an open sewer, which people would just dump out their sewage and it would just get it away from their homes. When they repaved streets and they tore up concrete, they would just throw them into the adjacent stream. Since 1800, there are maps of Little Sawmill Run following pretty much what is today's Banksville Road. In order to develop the, the roads, they pushed the streams against one side or the other. And the reason for that is, is that was the easiest place to put the road. You know, it's the only flat area in Pittsburgh is where the streams were. At one point, this whole valley was a floodplain. That means that it could absorb a ton of water during a rainstorm. But when you pave over a floodplain, it puts a lot of pressure on the remaining stream. We have neighborhoods that are flooded out almost every time it rains. A lot of times there's oil on roads that all just get washed away into the grate and end up going straight into our stream without any filtration. There's a lot of additional nutrients and... So in here when we talk about nutrients, they're bad. Yes. Not yes. like when yes. you want to get yes. your nutrients right. in your diet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good thing. <laughs> so what do they hope this stream looks like in 50 years? We would hope to see at least 75% of the floodplain restored. We're also looking to see where can we reactivate the floodplain and does it make sense to maybe convert this parking lot area into a more natural floodplain? I think it's interesting to note also that the EPA's designated use for Sawmill Run is as a cold water fishery, which means that if it were in good shape, we would be able to stock it with trout. If it wasn't for the constant hum of traffic and occasional trash, you could almost imagine this being a popular swimming hole. Here, let's try something. See? It's pretty beautiful, right? Whenever I come across areas of particular beauty, I take photos and I post them on our Facebook page and people are so shocked at how beautiful they are. And when I tell them it's Sawmill Run, they don't believe me. <laughs> because that's not the Sawmill Run that they're familiar with. You have to get down into the stream and walk the stream and see those areas that are of particular beauty. And that's the story I found in Banksville. Next up, Bedford Dwellings. If you've watched this far, you might as well click on that little drawing of me to subscribe to this channel, or watch a video about another Pittsburgh neighborhood right now. Go ahead, click on something.